In this video, we will be doing the numerical on consumer price index. Now see, we have learned the two methods of consumer price index that first was the aggregative expenditure method and the other was the family budget method. So we will be solving this question from both the methods. So let's first take the aggregative expenditure method so in this question we are given the articles we are given the quantity in the base here price in the base year and price in the current year so quantity in the base year is q0 price in the base year is p0 and price in the current year is p1 now let's Calculate the formula for aggregative expenditure method was submission P1 Q0 divided by submission P0 Q0 into 100. So let's find out P0 Q0 in the first column and then P1 Q0 in the other column. So P1 into oh sorry P0 into Q0. 5 into 24 is 120 then 16 then 24 then 20 then again 20 40 20 and 20 so you get the by adding this you get submission p0 q0 as 280 after that p1 q0 is 13 to 5 it's 150 then 20 then 36, then 25, then 25, then 60, then 25, then 25. So this is summation P1 Q0 is 366. Now the consumer price index is equal to this formula so let's put up the values in the formula that is 280 sorry it's p1 q0 is 366 366 divided by 280 into 100 so we've got an answer 130.7 as your consumer price index to the aggregative expenditure method now let's take the family ex budget method family budget method so the formula of the family budget was submission rw divided by submission w into 100 where submission w is your submission of weight and r is your price related so the formula to calculate r was P1 divided by P0 into 100. This is the R. And in this, weight is not given. So the formula of weight will be P0 into Q0. Price of the base year into the quantity of the base year. Then you will find out R into W. So let's find out R first. The price of the current year is 30 divided by 24 into 100. We get 125, 20 divided by 16 into 100, we get 125, then uh, the second is 18 divided by 12 into 100 is 150, then 125, 125, 150, 125, 125. Now P0 into Q0, 5 into 24, 1 into 16, 2 into, so this P into Q0. We find out the weights, this is 120, then 16, 24, 20, 20, 40, 20, 20. So this is summation W is equal to 280. Now R into W we will do this into this, this into this. R into W will get 
फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड दैन सिक्स थाउजेंड दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड टू गेट सम्यूशन आर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स सिक्स हंड्रेड सो वील पुट दिस इन टू दी फॉर्मूला विच इज इक्वल टू Summation R into W that price relative into the weight is three six six zero zero. Summation W here is two eighty into hundred. We'll get an answer as one three zero point six. So this is the consumer price index and its method to methods through which we can solve the consumer price index. So I hope you liked our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.